Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Q Stare Q. What you gonna do? I don't know, but nothing's gonna grow. <laughs> and I mean that literally. Well, I looked out the window this morning when I woke up, and I saw a few squirrels out here, and they were getting down in the garden, of course. And so I noticed some uh, destruction, of course. So I'll let you know my plans because I'm not giving up. But I want to show you this surprise if the mosquitoes don't do me in. The blackberry bush is blooming again. I took out that cucumber plant because it had pretty much died, including the cucumber that was on there. So I even tossed that. But I strung up the blackberry so that it can continue to grow and reach up to the vine. The squirrel got all of my green beans. I had planted nine plants, I believe. I have to look back on my other episode. I have one left and it looks as if that'll be gone soon. But there's still time. So when we get in the greenhouse, I can uh, let you know what I plan to do. They attacked this plant. Uh, I do have a few green beans on here coming. But I don't know if the squirrel comes back, he might devour the whole thing or they, but I, I do have green beans, they're babies. Now next week, we're supposed to get back into the nineties. In fact, the heat's supposed to kick in on Saturday with a high of 88. That will push these green beans onto maturity and hopefully the flowers on there will produce some more green beans so that when that uh, cold spell comes the next time, which will probably be the final one. We're not, this, the fact that we're getting into the 90s this weekend and into all of next week is a fluke for Michigan in August, believe me. So uh, the fact that it's happening, I better be happy. My pepper plant is giving out over there because our lows are getting into the low 50s. So that that pepper plant isn't doing too well. So I picked the peppers off of it and I gave it a good dousing. I picked the cucumber off of that plant there and you will see my harvest. Oh, it was a sense of urgency today because the squirrel is here. I picked the two peppers I had on. Uh, I had one on this plant and one on that plant. I picked those. It has more flowers. Uh, I picked that patty pan squash that was in there. If I would have liked for it to have gotten bigger. My sister has a huge one in her garden. One little patty pan, but it's huge. I told her she better hurry up and get back before I steal it. <laughs> uh, the squirrel. Ooh, I don't know what that noise is in the greenhouse. Hope it's not a squirrel. <laughs> Believe me, them things are treacherous. I wanted to grab these two patty pans, but they're just not big enough. So I may lose those two to a squirrel. That one over there is a little bigger, but it's not that big. And then I've got a third one coming in right there, I see. Okay. Uh, I, plant, I picked the cucumber off of this plant, and I still have some. There's one right there. Let's zoom in on it. It's right there. Hold on, I want y'all to see it. Right here, right there. And then I have one up here and it's starting to give away, although it's not as dead as that diva cucumber plant. And so that diva cucumber plant gave me two cucumbers total. Uh, you can count the one that I threw away today because I don't think it, that plant had pretty much fizzled out so you can count that that would be number three and then there were four more cucumber plants on the plant but they were babies they weren't going to do anything in fact I can show you here's one of them right here and I mean it looked nice and everything but this plant is just is gone so I said why even leave it I can make room and there's the cucumber that I had to throw away uh, and Mr. Squirrel got a hold to it too. So, you know, I don't know. Don't want nothing the animal has touched or that I know, you know, that he's bitten into. Okay, so 
so far I still have Crowder peas coming. I picked a lot of them this week. I didn't lose any of the squash. He hasn't been to this to, to this table, so I, I've managed to keep that fall planting of the squash. That one I may just do away with because it'll make room for the two new squashes I put in there because that old one is taking up space and energy. It's producing flowers. Uh, it, it produced a few females, but everyone died. They never got pollinated. So I think I'm going to eliminate that plant on tomorrow and then let the, new, the two new ones, you know, take hold. They've taken hold already. Squirrel might want to get a hold to this, <laughs> this little plant. I didn't pull any peppers from over here. They're coming along. The squirrel so far hasn't messed with the table, so I uncovered it on yesterday, actually, and he hasn't bothered the table because he's getting a feast in the other garden. So, so like I said, he can have that. I pulled all the green beans out of here today. Uh, it was It was a few probably about 30 or 40 in there and I still have a few flowers left so a few more will come because these are beginning to fizzle out and once these fizzle out oh here's some more green beans there's three of them let me get those just noticed them okay everyone I can get I'm getting so but uh once this fizzles out once and for all I'm gonna give it to maybe the end of the first week in September or perhaps the second week in September, it'll fizzle out on its own. Especially once we get below 50, we're hitting like 51 at night. And that's even, even next week when it gets hot again, it's still, the lows are still going to be in the low 50s regardless. So, you know, so summer's over, so to speak, the way that we know it. So uh, it's going to get cold, you know, and the plants don't like that. So here's my harvest for the day. I pulled that patty pan. This is the one, the mystery cucumber, Renee. It's, the, the package says straight eight. It doesn't look straight, but it might be one. And then this is the one from the Keyhole Garden. It's misshapen, but I'ma still eat it. And then here are the green beans that I pulled today. And yes, they're small. And then these peppers, all these came from the Keyhole Garden because the squirrel has found it and he'll be back. I've eliminated my melons. And then my great San Marzano tomatoes, come to find out, it's the yellow pear tomatoes, y'all. I don't have San Marzanos. I know I planted them, but I don't know what happened to them because... Uh, this is what I got the last time, and I thought it was a San Marzano, and it wasn't. It's a yellow pear. I plucked all my uh, cherry tomatoes, the ones that were red. So I, I still have a lot of those left. Maybe these are the San Marzanos because these are big. These are not cherry tomatoes. So that might be the San Marzano. Hopefully so. <laughs> And then my eggplants are still doing pretty good. And they're they're getting bigger, but they're growing slow. Even in this greenhouse where it's warmer, it, they're still growing slow because so many are on there. But I'm leaving them. I, I, I plucked that one, but I'm leaving the rest. As you can see, my gooseberry plant is starting to, is starting to give away, you know, because it's the end of the season. And I got one gooseberry off of it y'all just one so i won't be planting that, that again my ground cherries have done good for me this year i still have a few green zebra tomatoes i plucked that one the other day and these seem to have gotten bigger uh i still have the flowers from the cherokee purple uh so hopefully i'll get some more cherokee purple it's not too late oh i did i did see i plucked those two the other day there's a new cherokee purple right there and then I have flowers, so I will get more Cherokee purple. And I am going to film the taste test tonight, but I'm not going to download that yet. Okay, I've got ground cherries. I'm going to just throw them in there. I like to let them ripen first. They fall right here on the floor, and then I just throw them in there until they turn brown, and then I grab them up. My strawberries, I won't say I'm disappointed, but in a way I am. 
but they they got a rough start remember these are all new i had that one plant that i salvaged from the white pine and i think it did well for me it gave me a crate full of strawberries robert told me to plant them out and i may do that this fall i may plant them out i thought about planting them into the keyhole garden i don't know but i need something bigger for these tomatoes i mean for these strawberries they are not doing i mean they grow here in the crate but they're not producing in the crate and like i said i can't really be too disappointed because i had to bring this thing back from the brink so with that it was a huge success i have runners here that need to be repotted and i'm gonna repot the runners right into the same crate i have space in there i have to figure out what i'm gonna put these in so i think i'm gonna go get a tub or i'm gonna use that tub that's right there get it full of soil and get it uh get the strawberries in there at least for the winter to give them a little more room and perhaps uh they'll survive the winter and then i can put the mulch around it of the hay and then put them on to sleep and hopefully next year i'll get some strawberries because those are ever bearing i just have to get them through the winter my french tarragon i clipped on that a little bit i had a lot of dead foliage and and stems so i clipped it in hopes of getting that final harvest at the end of the month it's not it's doing good but it's not doing as, as great uh because of the coldness the peanuts they seem to be doing good over there they've they've taken a uh, plant into the ground after they you know because peanuts once they bloom it plants they plant themselves into the soil and then the peanuts come so it they've done that and oh lord i just pulled off another collar i did that the other day and you know what i see another one over there that's about to fall on its own i'm gonna just go on and get it i did that the other day so i cut up the oh it had already fallen i didn't even know it i went on and cut up the uh the leaf and put it in the freezer and i'm gonna do the same with these two i'm happy for my collars though last year oh yeah i got a real good batch last year and i had only planted one and was mad so i planted two this year and they're they're doing good i've already harvested twice off of it as well as the swiss chard and i'll get another harvest I'm not gonna harvest all these yet. I'm gonna let the. I'm trying to let them go until the end of fall. So let's add this to the harvest. Oh, and I did get a white okra, you guys. It had gotten too long, so I said I better get it. I don't know if you see it there. So I'm gonna use that for seed too. Although I have some more coming, I may or may not get to taste it. We'll see. If those other ones come in at the same time instead of one at a time like it's been doing then maybe i'll get to taste it okay what you're seeing here you're seeing this is this is my squirrel this is how i'm gonna fight the squirrels y'all sometimes if you can't beat them join them okay just to, to try to salvage the rest of what i have in the garden these came from the food bank today and y'all the farmers this is what they gave us <laughs> they gave us carrots okay so that's what we got from the farmers today so we got carrots and then they gave us a bag of apples they gave us two huge bags of grapes on today which are in the refrigerator uh they gave us some chicken and what else it was something else that they gave us that i can't remember so that's what we got today and I'm thankful for that. So I do not like carrots, you guys. If you notice, Q Stead Q has never mentioned carrots. I hate carrots. I don't eat them. I don't, not even cooked. And if I see something with carrots in it, I'll move those carrots to the side. That's one of the few foods that I do not like. And that's carrots. And I know carrots are wonderful. But, excuse me, I'm eating that tomato. But I can't do carrots, y'all. So that's it. So... I said, well, I'm not going to waste this, you know, and the apples, certainly. I'm not going to waste those. I'm actually going to eat a few, probably, but I'm saving a few. I brought them out here to show y'all, but the carrot, I'm putting that into the keyhole garden. It's either going to backfire or it's going to work like a charm. 
the color it would it, it'll draw the squirrel of course but he'll probably eat that and get full and not mess with my other plants that's my hope that is my hope or he might be greedy and decide to eat the carrot and then eat the other plants too then he might bring his friends and tell his friends there's a smorgasbord on the cue stand i don't know what's gonna happen uh actually you know what while i'm sitting up here talking my brain is 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 going 20 miles a minute okay i'm not gonna put these into the garden itself i'm gonna put those out into the yard away from the garden and he can get that you know so basically i'm feeding the squirrels he can get that and then probably move on that's what i'm hoping y'all tell me i'm sorry i'm spitting out the peels <laughs> y'all tell me what wh what is your suggestion but that's definitely my fight if i feed the squirrels maybe they'll leave the garden alone until i can finish out this summer and like i said i pulled prematurely with a lot of that today i think that cucumber was pretty much ready but i pulled everything else prematurely just to keep the squirrel from getting a hold to it and then oh and so okay so i lost i meant to tell you i lost everything with the exception of the i didn't lose the squash i they didn't bother that suffer squash in the keyhole garden he ate everything else he ate everything but and it's a piece of broccoli left and so i have to read so i said there's time so what i'm gonna do tomorrow i'm going to get my seed starter mix and in my little seed starting trays i'm gonna replant the broccoli i'm gonna replant the cauliflower replant the cabbage because it's an early variety. I think it was early Jersey. And it, 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 it was a, I think it was like a 50 day cabbage, but it still may make it here in the greenhouse. I'm not going to put those, the, these new seedlings out. I have space now that I've eliminated the melons. I have three empty crates with nothing but soil, three of them that are empty. And then I have an empty, uh, that empty, uh, thing out there that had the cucumber so i can transplant those seedlings right in there and let them grow into the in the greenhouse they may grow slow i may get something i may not i just want to try again so i'm going to do actually i'm not going to do the cauliflower and broccoli i'm a, i'm gonna just scratch that but what i want to do is the stuff that don't need pollinating actually so what i'm gonna do is the um the uh what did i say i was gonna do the cabbage and you know what i might even forego that as much as i would have liked to have tried to get a cabbage this year because i got one last year i think i'm gonna go with the green beans something simple and fast growing i think i'm gonna go with the green beans and you know i may go on and throw I may go on and throw, uh, not the cabbage, I may go on and throw a broccoli in there because that's good and cold tolerant. I'll look at the seeds, my fall seeds, and, and, and or I might throw some spinach in. I have spinach in there. I may throw something that's going to give me a quick turnover, you know, through the month of October and possibly early November. So I'm going to change the game. And, and, and what I do plant for the fall will be in here so that my garden is not a total failure. And I wouldn't say it's a failure this year. This just hasn't been my best year. I'll tell you, 2021, when I moved here, wasn't a, a good year either for me because I only took part of my garden and the part that I brought did okay. I got eggplant that year. I did, I got the purple Cherokee tomatoes that year and that was the first time I had planted them and a squirrel got me. At the end, I left them on the vine. They were turning purple. They were big, a lot bigger than the ones you saw the other day. And one day I went out and they were gone. And then 2022 was, an, was a good year. It wasn't the best, but it was a good year. It was better than this year. And then last year was a very good year. It, last year, I think, was a very good year here in the garden. Everything. You know, I mean, I, I had lost. Well, no, I didn't have any losses last year. The only loss I had last year were the potatoes. 
they didn't do well. Other than that, everything else did. And I got a lot of harvest last year, especially with the green beans and stuff. So, but this year has not been the best. It hasn't been the worst, but it hasn't been the best either. And I, another thing I've thought about too is, cause I'm getting those garden tables uh, from that, that site that uh, Diana uh, told us about. I'm getting the garden tables. I think what I may do is just go with the smaller ones, the round ones and the square ones. Instead of getting that big 32 uh, foot one to put out where that garden is out there, I think I'm gonna have to planting outside this year uh, in the ground, which is something I hadn't planned to do other than the keyhole garden because a lot of perennials are there, but I did plant in it too. Uh, Planting in the ground this year, especially in that front bed, has taught me the reason. It, it reminded me of the reason why I, I bought the greenhouse in the beginning and why I don't usually plant in the ground the animals. They are, you know, they're just ruthless over here. And they, they could actually have, they could have been worse because they didn't start attacking until the end, like now. So basically, I can get those tables and I could probably fit, if I eliminate the crates, I could probably fit at least three of them along this wall, three of those big square ones, and they're tall, so I'll, I'll be able to stand up and garden, and I'll be able to plant a lot in them. And technically, I could put one of them 32 footers in here too. You know, I could put that along the wall and then put a square one over here. I, You know, I'm I'm brainstorming. And I guess I could put a table out there, but I would definitely have to hoop it and cover it and all that. And that still may not help. You know, I just don't feel like going through all that. And then, you know, I'm running out of steam. This wasn't a good year. I didn't get much accomplished in the yard, but you know, I'm not gonna beat myself up over that because I had a bad winter. I was sick all last winter. Uh, I was in the hospital. Uh, I was in, a week before Christmas and I didn't get released until Christmas Eve and that and barely when they did release me and I had to go through two months of physical therapy after that by the time I got through with all that you know we were into February and it was time to get the garden going so you know I felt better but I just never got myself back going and then with all this stuff this summer you know with the the testing with the sleep apnea stuff you know that took all summer to to finish that up and then on top of that I had that UTI remember so I just couldn't get going you know this year and I'm hoping to be able to get cleaned up uh I got in touch with one of my garden buddies through the grow network little mama she sent me her number and I told her that I would uh I wanted to ask her if she could help me with the project and so I'm going to call her I haven't had a chance to do that yet I'm gonna call her and see if she can come and help me get the backyard uh, cleaned up for the fall. I don't think I can do it by myself, y'all. And I'm not having a pity party. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm not having a pity party. I'm just facing reality here. So basically, it's getting dark now. It's almost eight o'clock. And as you can see, the sun has set and it will be pitch black pretty soon. And the mosquitoes are starting to hit. <laughs> I'm feeling them. So let me find something to put this crop in. Oh, I have a bag here. Let me get the crops uh, loaded up, and these will be frozen. So I've gotten a little something this year, so I'm not going to complain. I'm thankful for everything that God has allowed me to do, especially after just telling y'all all I've been through, and y'all have seen how I struggled this summer with the health and all that. So I think even with the struggle, I, I think for that, I've done good. But this winter, and I want y'all to help me and suggest, what should I do? How should I do this? Do, do you think I should go with the tables out in the, you know, in the yard? I'm sorry for the moving around. Should I go with the tables out in the yard or should I put the tables in the greenhouse? That would be a surefire way to get my crop next year. And I think I'll do better and I'll have more room to grow because you can grow more in a bigger area than you can in a crate. Uh, so I am eliminating the crates and I'm gonna save all the soil 
you know, from the crate. So that'll be used. And I started saving my, I started saving my bottles. I brought some out today. And so, and I think I'm gonna get these strawberries. I'll probably go out this weekend and, and get some cause I can buy probably three or four bags of potting soil. I can drill the holes in the bottom of this and I can get those strawberries planted next week and just go on and put them in here for now and they'll be ready for the winter and I'll set them right back in the corner where they are until I decide, you know, where where the permanent spot is gonna be. Robert said, plant them out. <laughs> I don't know, not with these animals. And Robert said, I'm not bothered with animals. He's not. But see, Robert doesn't live closer to the lake like I do. We all, everybody in my town lives by a lake. There's a lake in every neighborhood, but he's not right up on it. I am on the lakes and I, and I know I sound like a broken record. If you all, and I'm going to go on a tour one day and show y'all, I live around the corner from three lakes. I'm within a half mile of three separate lakes. So we have animals because of the lake. They need their water. And then they make their ways into the neighborhoods. You know, some neighborhoods in my city have deer. I've heard there's been deer over here, but I've never seen any. But I wouldn't be surprised if I ever saw one. And I hope one never makes his way back here. Ooh-wee. <laughs> that would be a mess. You know, but uh, the thing is, we have the animals. So, you know, so, uh, and the lakes and stuff. So, one day I am going to take you on a tour and show you just how close I am to the lakes. Uh, you'll be amazed. If it wasn't for all these trees, I would have a lake view from this house. That's just how close one of the lakes is. It's only a couple of blocks down, but it's across, there's a main street that separates our neighborhood. Well, it's still our neighborhood, but it's a main street in the middle of our neighborhood uh, that leads to the, uh, the street that leads to Pelly's, and that's Kennett. And once you cross over Kennett, that first street there, which is two streets from me, actually, uh, it, there's a lake there. There's a creek and a lake. And so, therefore, that's just how close it is. And if it wasn't for these trees, I would definitely, everybody on the street, the only one who may have a lake view is my neighbor because they have the upstairs. That's the house next door to me. And the other, there are some more houses on the street that are two-story. They may have a view of that lake and creek because they're, you know, they're up high. Uh, but I don't have a view of it because of the trees. I wish though, if they cut all these trees down, it would be nice. <laughs> but anyway, let me get off of here. We're at 30 minutes, but, and it's getting dark. So I'm going to get on in the house, fix dinner, and uh, get ready for tonight. I'm mad because the Peacock Network that went up $2 on my monthly charge, they took all the Olympics off. They got the Paralympic uh, marquee up now, which they had up all the time. And so the Paralympics is supposed to start on the 28th. That's fine, but you know, some of us hadn't finished watching the Olympics. And so it said you could go to NBC Sports to watch it, but then you have to have a cable provider to watch NBC Sports. So that's it for my Olympic journey. I didn't get to see everything. So, oh well, I'll be glad when NBC loses the contract and they get, get it back to NBC, I mean ABC, because I am sick of them and I'm getting rid of the Peacock Network. After the Paralympics, they are done. They'll get this one seven ninety nine a month payment from me. And once the Paralympics end, Labor Day week, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> so that's it. But anyway, let me go and bait a carrot somewhere. I'm going to just throw it in the middle of the yard. And hopefully a squirrel will see it and eat that. Since he comes near that, gar that front garden, I'm going to just put it in the driveway somewhere so he'll see it and get to it. And then I'm gonna take the apples in and the carrots are going in too. I will refrigerate them. And each day I'll plant a carrot, especially if he takes the bait. So I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy your evening and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.